Hello everyone and thank you for watching. My name is Yaniv Hoffman. Today I will try to answer one of the most common questions I usually get. Does VPN prevent you from being act? So I will try to answer this question but also to give some tips on how to choose the right VPN, what to look for and some final thoughts. Let's start. VPN or virtual private network is one of the prominent solutions to protect your privacy online. A VPN provides you a solution to address several issues that you might face doing internet browsing, such as accessing block sites, IP masking, hiding your browsing history, and etc. But does VPN really prevent you from being hacked? Does it protect your privacy and transfer your private data over the internet securely? Does it prevent hackers to look your information into the internet or not? So first, there isn't really a foolproof 100% solution all in one to protect your data. As with security, it always layers of protections via multiple solutions to achieve a more effective protection. Having said that, VPN is a great tool and play really important role as part of your cybersecurity arsenal. And by using a VPN, you can significantly reduce the chances of cyber attacks, especially if you are using public networks like the one at your favorite coffee shops. That's because when you are connected to unprotected Wi-Fi without a VPN, you put yourself in a vulnerable position. At the moment, your data goes from your computer to either a website you are trying to access, it becomes basically up for grabs to any hacker that enjoying a coffee at the same time and using the same Wi-Fi network. So VPN does provide good protection, but it's important to know how it works and its vulnerabilities so you can pick the right one for your security, but also understand the differences between what the market offer to reality. So how does it work? When you send data online, VP8 creates a tunnel that encrypts your data. That way, even if someone will be able to intercept the data in transit, it will be pointless as it will present stream of randomized incomparable characters that can be usable. To secure this path, the VPN uses an extra strap of security by placing a server between the user to the destined website with termination by the VPN server that represent the user. So one, it encrypts your traffic using virtually unbreakable encryption protocol so no one can use your data that intercept and in return will see randomized stream of garbage. Second, it hides your IP by rerouting traffic to a server in different locations that make it look like the VPN server is where all of your traffic is coming from. Three, VPN prevents unauthorized remote access. And unauthorized remote access is one of the common techniques used by hackers to gain complete control of your system. When you visit a website over the internet or gain access to a web application, you are being tracked by using your IP address. Attackers use your IP address to scan your system for possible vulnerabilities or to trick you to download a malware or backdoor to exploit your system. When you are connected to a VPN, means that your real IP address will be masked and website or web application will track the IP address of VPN service providers only. Therefore, the attackers will not be able to scan your network or can gate remote access to your system. Fourth, VPN is powerful against man-in-the-middle attacks. In the man-in-the-middle attacks, hacker sits in between the client and the server and intercept communications between the two. Once a hacker knows your IP address, he can exploit the weak encryption standards which are being used over the public Wi-Fi. Man-in-the-middle attacks can be used to steal your sensitive and credential information such as your usernames, passwords, account number, and PIN codes that you entered while browsing the public network. 
VPN protects you from man in the middle attack by not letting your IP address being tracked by the hackers because VPN frequently change your IP address. Besides that, VPN encrypts all of your data that is passed over the public network and it is nearly impossible to crack strong in encryption protocols of VPN. Hacker will not be able to sit in the middle between you and the server, they will not be able to redirect you to the malicious site. Last but not least, additionally, the fact that the VPN hides your IP address is helpful against certain types of cyber attacks. In example, DDoS attacks. Is, and DDoS is a form of cyber attack in which attacker flood the network with the enormous amount of data packets and make the network or server unavailable for its clients. DDoS attacks are considered as one of the most annoying attacks in the cybersecurity because it can cost organizations millions of dollars if their services are not available to its clients. Again here, VPN will mask your IP address and hackers will not be able to find your real IP address. And without knowing your IP address, attackers will find it challenging to attack you. Hiding your IP address, clients can enjoy uninterrupted connections to their services. However, you need to take in mind there are some cases where a hacker can still hack or infect your device even if you are using VPN. For example, you download a malicious software or through different social engineering techniques like phishing or by clicking on malicious links via phone messages, spam emails or any bogus websites. So returning to the original question, does VPN prevent you from being hacked? The answer is, in some cases yes, and some no. So let's first look at what you need to verify when choosing your VPN. So first look at the latest encryption ciphers. In example, AES-256, and AES stands for Advanced Encryption Standard with 256 bit keys. It's the same encryption standard adopted by the US government and used by security experts worldwide to protect classified information. And the 256-bit keys means that the combinations are in billions. So a brute force attack on a 256-bit key space is simply infeasible, even if all the world's most powerful supercomputer when for some long as the universe has existed so far, billions and billions of times over. Second, make sure in the service policy of the VPN vendor that it doesn't keep your logs and activities, so data will not be compromised. Look for leading security libraries support, like OpenVPN or IKE v2, which are leading the industry right now, now, OpenVPN is an open source technology that uses OpenSSL library and TLS protocols, along with an amalgam of other technologies to provide a strong and reliable VPN service. It is now the industry standard VPN protocol used by commercial VPN services, and for good reason. One of OpenVPN's major strengths is that highly configurable. It's natively supported by no platform, but is available on most platforms via third-party software. Custom OpenVPN clients and applications are often available from individual VPN providers, but the core open source code is developed by the OpenVPN project. Many developers and contributors to the OpenVPN project also work for OpenVPN technology, which oversee the project. Second is IKE v2, an Internet Key Exchange version 2. And this was jointly developed by Microsoft and Cisco. KE version 2 is part of the IPsec protocol suit. It ensures traffic is secured by handling the security association attributes with IPsec. Because of its support of mobility and multi-oming protocol, IKE v2 is also highly resilient to changing networks. This makes IKE v2 a great choice for selection. Search for extra security features that the VPN can provide, such as malware protection, ad blocking, and etc. In addition, search for PFS, which stands for Perfect Forward Security. Perfect Forward Secrecy 
is also referred to as using ephemeral encryption keys or just forward secrecy by those uncomfortable with using the word perfect. Most modern secure online communications rely today on SSL and TLS. It is used by the HTTPS website and the open VPN protocol. TLS is an asymmetric encryption protocol. Using an asymmetric cipher means that the data is secured using a public key, which is made available to everyone. It can only be decrypted, however, by an intended recipient who holds the correct private key. Unfortunately, it is common for servers or even entire companies to use just one private encryption keys to secure all communications. Why? Because it's easy. However, if that key is compromised, then the attacker can access all communications encrypted with it. This private encryption key therefore becomes a master key that can be used to unlock all communications with a server or a company. The solution is perfect forward secrecy. And this is a system whereby a new and unique private encryption key is generated for each session. It is a simple idea, even if a defi elman exchange math is complex. It means that each TLS session has its own set of keys, hence the term ephemeral keys. They are used once and then disappear. There is therefore no master key that can be exploited, even if a session is compromised. It is only that session that is compromised, not all other sessions. Anybody as with the server for the company. Although uncommon, it's even possible to refresh PFS keys within session. This further limits the amount of data that can be intercepted by the adversary, even if a private key is compromised. So when you look at the way your VPN protects you, search for AFS first and then open VPN. Yet, as I mentioned earlier, VPN is not a silver bullet, and with security, you need extra layers of protection. So I also recommend on the following. Always keep your operating system and install programs up to date. Updates are regularly released by vendors and developers to address the vulnerabilities. You should regularly keep your operating system and programs up to date with the latest security patches. Use antivirus programs. Update antivirus program will block every single malicious file that are injected by the hackers into the network. Enable firewalls. A firewall is considered as the best security tool to block unwanted traffic to enter into a network. Tafit will not prevent you from every single cyber attack, but it makes the hackers work hard to hack your system. Enable router security. By enabling router security, such as disabling remote access, changing router password, disabling WPS, and disabling unused ports will further harden to prevent you from being hacked. Avoid using public Wi-Fi. This is very important. Avoid sending sensitive information, such as your banking credential, username or password on public Wi-Fi. Always use a VPN on public Wi-Fi to avoid man-in-the-middle attack. Avoid using websites that contain untrusted applications and contain questionable materials. Do not give your username, passwords and security questions answers to anyone. Thank you for watching and hopefully it was insightful for you as it was enjoyable for me. If you are interested in such topics or even have specific interest, please leave your comments below so I could review and address it. Until the next time, see you.